here's one of the things that I'd like to share with you, which is a data point. Um, in a recent survey, um, so 2016, of our principals and human resource directors, we asked the question, in the last five days, how many principals have had to sub for um, missing teachers in classrooms? 61% of our principals said that they have had to sub in a classroom because they lack the certificated um, uh, teachers. Um, that says a lot about what's going on, not just in the classrooms, but somebody in the previous panel also talked about the administration and the fact that our administrators, if we're as asking them to be instructional leaders, are having a very difficult time being those instructional leaders because they're having to make choices about whether they're gonna split up a classroom and divide those students between other classrooms or are they gonna go and step into the classroom themselves? Um, I think that a couple of very choice um, quotes that I'd like to share with you, and I, I overprepared, so I'm rushing <laughs> because I think there's some important things that I wanna share with you, and I'm hoping that you will ask me questions afterwards. Um, but um, here's one of the uh, quotes that I wanted to share with you because I thought it was very important. This is what's going on in our principal's lives. Finding teachers and subs in all areas are uh, incredibly difficult. I've attended teacher career fairs in Washington, Montana, Oregon, and Idaho, trying to find qualified teachers. When I attended the job fair in Idaho, there were more school recruiters than teacher candidates that came through. Finding subs is very difficult as well. I've had to teach in classrooms, and I got my CDL last year so I could help drive a bus when they couldn't find bus drivers. 